Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the last episode, we tried to find the Bloody Baron, but he's a little hard to get to. His people will not let us in. Probably has something to do with us killing his men in the, in the, in the tavern, um, in wherever we were, Midcops, or someplace else. I don't remember exactly where, but it's okay. We'll find a way in there, and we'll talk to this guy, especially because, as I've been saying multiple times... Uh, he's quite an interesting fellow, and everything that's going to follow is quite interesting, and one of my favorite story parts of the whole entire game. So, find the cave that leads under Crow's Perch. Crow's Perch is the top up there. Uh, we have something here. Let's go ahead and Ostop examine it. Six Summers. Ostop Six Summers. Oh, that must mean his, his age, huh? Okay, so it said there was a... Uh, yeah, there's a shrine to a... Uh, drowned boy, and that's what that is. Now we're basically looking for something with our Witcher senses. Uh, something that will give us an idea of where we can... What we can use, basically, to, to go into this place. And I, like I said, I don't remember exactly where it is, but it shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, we've got a very wide circle. Okay, I think we've got it over here. Yeah. All right. So, find the cave that leaves under Crow's Perch. We have done it. Now, we want to look for any and all sort of loot chests. Explore the cave and find a way into the castle. Shouldn't be too hard, but what might uh, what might happen... Did we just activate Quen? Yes, we did. Is that we might get ambushed by some sort of monster down here. I don't actually remember. I thought this cave was short, but it already seems... Yep, there's a water hag. All right, we haven't fought a water hag yet. Uh, water hags are really annoying from what I remember. Okay, so we deal, we deal pretty good damage here. Uh, water hags throw... And once more, yeah. Everything is uh, really dark for me, too. Don't worry, I can barely see this thing. Okay, let's try to kill it. Yeah, actually, that 500 vitality... Can you just die? Oh my god. That 500 vitality does seem to help. It seems like with every hit that we take, it's dealing far uh, far less. Yeah, water hags are doing um, pretty much every new monster we come across. I'm going to have to relearn how to fight it from my previous playthroughs. Uh, this game is just so different from other games that, you know, it's not like just pick up and play like, uh, like an Elder Scrolls or a Fallout game. There's something... That's the... That's the entrance, right? What's glowing over there? It could be a place of power, and I would be remiss to not check it out. We at least have a chest down here, though. A couple of chests, it looks like. Go go further down. Jeez, Louise. Swimming in this game is so horrible, man. Okay. Um. I Yeah, that's just got to be... God, I can't see anything down here. I'm going to have to find a way to... Uh, Increase the brightness. What are you doing? Surface. I'm holding B to surface. I must be close. Man, the swimming controls in this game are so weird. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, in between the next episode, I'll try to figure out a way to turn up the brightness. There's just no way, man. Like, in the in this... See, if I go to options, what would you think, right? Gameplay, maybe. Any brightness? No. Go to video. HUD configuration. Any brightness? No. Rescale HUD. No. Post-processing. No. Nothing. Graphics. Uh... Again, nothing. Why wouldn't you... It's so weird that they... This is like the one game where there is no option to turn up the brightness in-game. It's so weird. But yeah, I'm going to try to turn up the brightness uh, in between the next episode because this is just terribly, terribly, terribly dark. And like I said, it's one thing if you're... What's up here? It's one thing if you are um, playing, you know, because YouTube always makes it darker. Or it's one thing if you're watching on YouTube because YouTube always makes it darker. But if you're actually playing the game, it should never be this dark. Okay, let's head up. I always wonder, is there a way to, like, climb faster in games? Looks like there's not for this one. See, now this is all bright and nice and very, uh, very vibrant as well. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh, 
One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. A man like him could prove useful. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are. But since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well. Then let's discuss it. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. So this is the Bloody Baron, and he's quite a character, as I've been saying. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here a dry if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby. Best in Velen, but the horse on his burnt it to the ground. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? By the way, uh, I really love the design of a lot of the... One, one of the greatest aspects of this entire game is the design of the characters. Aesthetically, literally how they look. Geralt looks awesome. Uh, Yennefer looks awesome. Kira Metz is cool. Uh, the Bloody Baron is one of my favorite, though. He just looks like... Well, he looks exactly like the type of man that, you know, you might think he might look like after we find out more about him. Didn't come here to talk about the scenery. You're wrong to avoid the topic. You've just arrived, plain to see. And the local swamps and bogs, they're interesting to say the least. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. back. <laughs> Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. So we actually get to play as Cirilla. Uh, when I found this out, I was like, whoa, really? I mean, I never played The Witcher 1 or 2. I don't know if there were other playable characters, but this just seemed like such a game where you only play as one character, a.k.a. Geralt of Rivia. When you play as Ciri, you cannot access the inventory or use signs, because she's a <sighs> shitty witcher. That's why. That was close. I must leave this place. Ciri is a really pretty lady as well. Like, every lady in this whole game is just... I don't know why, I, again, I, trust me, I know they're just pixels in the common theme on the internet. They're just pixels! What are you, a loser? 
But I've got a very fulfilling relationship with a with a real life girlfriend, so I can say things like, "Yeah, these, these video game girls are very pretty." Um, anyways, I don't think we've seen Siri grown up yet. I think we've only seen her as a kid. So, yeah, this is her, and we play as her now. Follow the riverbed and find help. And Siri plays a little bit differently than Geralt, as we will see. Oh, also, I think. Oh, that's right. You can loot. You can still loot alchemical ingredients, but I don't know if it matters at all. I'm gonna grab them just in case. Uh, you can see it's not sort of showing up like in our inventory, like when we play as Geralt. Okay, so we've got wolves here. Um, I'm going to attack with fast attacks. I feel like. So as you can see, just the dodge is different already uh, with Siri. Maybe my strong attacks. Okay, let's not die to wolves first and foremost need to make good use of my dodging yeah someone said i don't ever parry and that is true i don't ever block or parry um and the reason for that is gonna sound really silly but it's because i forgot how <laughs> yeah and i think uh, my my play style with the other playthroughs have, al have always been fast attacks and dodges uh, more so than down. blocking but i don't remember the button to block <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. I just realized, like, last episode or so that I totally forgot how to block Hello in there. this game. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? A little, I guess. Are you lost, Miss Whitehair? Uh, okay. So, I guess, how are we going to play Siri? Uh, we're playing Geralt as a hard ass. I, should we... Well, I mean, a hard ass would be get a, a hard ass, right? Yeah, I, I I played Siri as a nice girl last time, so yeah, let's play her as a as a hard ass as well. I never lose my way. Ooh, if that's true, what are you doing so deep in the forest alone, looking for lost little girls? What happened to you? This, it's nothing. I. What are you in the forest, then? What are you looking for? There ain't much to see in the forest. I want you guys to know that when I do that voice, I have to literally pinch my face to a horrible monstrosity. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. <sighs> Thanks, Mrs. Witcher. My papa's just around the corner. Let's go on an adventure, Mrs. Witcher. Then when we get home, we can have some pumpkin pie that me father made. Follow Gretka, which has to be a clear reference to Hansel and Gretel. She's following a trail of, of treats. All right, wolves, let's do it. I'm so grateful. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm so grateful that there are, that there's sort of splash damage in this game. Wow, I am. Uh, Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can we actually use something if we hit the right trigger or something? Oh, okay. So it's just left. Okay, yeah. That... Yeah, just the left trigger blocks. Should have known, obviously. Okay, down goes one wolf. This is actually trickier than you might imagine. But Cer uh, Cirilla is a little OP. I forgot. Yeah, her health regenerates as well. You can see her health is regenerating. And it's weird, too. It sort of says, like, on the left, like, Siri hits Wolf for 300 points of damage. Um, you can come out now. I always felt like during this part... My father couldn't even do that. 
they just, Mind I don't know, they didn't more. fully program Siri. They made it really weird. Like, when you pick up things, it doesn't show that you're picking them up. Even though there's no inventory, so mm. it makes sense. Massacred. Something with immense claws. But also the weird thing where it tells us, like, how much damage we're dealing to enemies. Like, wh what is that? It doesn't tell us that when we're playing as Geralt. You know what I mean? Yeah, so holding the left trigger blocks. I don't know why I forgot that. Um, like I said, Look. I don't think I block too much in my other playthroughs. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts. Stay here. I must see something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can tell what that is. I don't know why a child would have that reaction. Oh boy, Miss Witcher. There's something over there in that boat over there. Doesn't look macabre at all. Okay, so we have to find out again, like where the certain thing is. Uh last time it was the last option. Let's see. <gasps> His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? Why are you digging through his belly, Miss Witcher? Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. It's all too late for that, Siri. I mean, come on. Hmm. What's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Something. The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil. You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Vesemir is the witcher that we started the game with, by the way. Uh, the older witcher. Uh, Rapeseed, for anyone wondering, is actually a real thing. I forget what it is. It's something that is common, I think, in cuisine. But, um, yeah, it's like original name was Rapeseed. That's not a typo or anything. I'm sure someone knows in the comment section. Gather Fool's Parsley, one out of two. Okay. Well, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what we have, because there's no inventory. Oh boy, more wolves. Yeah, like I was saying before, I'm glad that there is sort of splash damage in this game. So it's like, it's, you know, it's realistic. If I do a big swing, it should hit more enemies than one enemy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're doing pretty good here. I'm not locking onto enemies, but you kind of really don't have to. They're gone. You can come out. You cut them up bad. All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, brew the oil in peace. What you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Formulae? Oh, Miss Witcher! That's a nice formula you got there. Looks quite nice. May help us take down the Wolf King, get me back to me papa. All right, where's this Wolf King, Greg? I feel like you're just making making things up. I feel like there's no such Do thing as a Wolf King. Send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. They're gonna get eaten, you silly girl. Especially if this is actually based on Hansel and Gretel. 
which I don't know. I forget what CD Projekt Red, the developer of this game, uh, is. I know they're like Swedish or Finnish or something. I'm sure someone will inform me in the comment section. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Okay, the King of Wolves. So, uh, werewolves are actually tricky in this game. Um, but ironically, this is kind of an even match now that I think about it. Because the thing about werewolves is that they regenerate health. But so do we, actually. <laughs> what is this, Oblivion? Why, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. I wonder what would... I wonder what would have happened if we didn't actually take a hit, because she said he clawed us a couple of times. Probably the same cutscene, but it would be cool if this game was so detailed that if you didn't take a hit there, she'd be like, let's go see your Baron. I, you know, I didn't take a hit at all. I'm just hungry. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very, thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten, and you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. You know, I've always wondered why he was so nice to Siri, but it makes sense now that I think about so it. He I was missing his daughter. To watch her and left her to rest. And ah, a topic for another time. No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharpness. Watch your tone, Witcher. Remember, you owe me. Butchered some of my better men. We wish to come to an agreement, do we not? I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. What if I refuse, because I just don't want to? Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? 
precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. It's always gross when um, people have beards and there's like yellow in the beards. My girlfriend and I just watched The Hateful Eight, which I had already seen and I when liked. When she was a babe, my daughter. But uh, yeah, there was a character in that movie as well who has a beard and it's there's like yellow and it's oh, it's disgusting. Animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did that what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll fly him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Then, China, Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Okay, so we have two rooms to search here, but also I think a third. We might have a separate quest, which we'll probably have to do. Um, let's see, Family Matters, use your Witcher senses to search the room. But also... Siri's room. Examine the room where Siri stayed using your Witcher senses. So we can do this too, which you kind of have to realize before you do it. Um, or else I think it'll just be, you know... It'll be missable. You can't do it again. Wall's a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Wall's a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. So it might actually be below Siri's room. Um, like I said, I don't want to miss it. Uh, I was just checking this to see if there was sort of a, uh, a secret or something. Yeah, let's try to go downstairs. Um, we definitely... Oh, it is telling me to go downstairs. Okay. I don't think he cares. Yeah, here we go. So, yeah, if you're playing along with me or if you're playing this game for the first time, you definitely want to do this because so it's here. sort of optional. A spinning top. Gretka's toy. Oh, man. It's Gretka's um, totem. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, 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 Inception joke. That's, that's topical. You can store weapons, armor, junk in your stash for safekeeping. Confident they will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. You can access your stash in a number of places. I don't know if that was a thing when I played. That might be a DLC thing, because I kind of don't remember that. Could be wrong, though. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The Natural Obscurity of the Curses. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? Okay. To my dear friends, Philip and Anna from Count Leguave, Leguerve, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Tamaria, Vizima, 1265. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one being, blah, blah, blah. You guys can read this if you want. I don't think it's um, that specific. I don't think it's, it's that important right now. Uh, get rid of these question marks, man. Yeah, we'll get some bestiary entries. Dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Okay, so that quest went away, but it should still tell us to talk to Gretka, right? Uh, series room, yeah, go to the kitchen and talk to Gretka. Yeah, I don't know why it switched over to a different quest. That was kind of weird. I did do this my first playthrough, luckily, because it was kind of tricky to find. It makes it it makes you think that it, Siri's room is upstairs, but yeah, you have to go back downstairs. Gonna kill the monsters. So or... you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going? Or what she came here to look for. She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. 
but you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Siri wanted to help a friend? You do who it was. What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Okay. And that ends that little side quest that, again, I'm pretty sure is time sensitive. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I know I keep saying this, but there's a lot of dialogue and cutscenes in this game, obviously. Uh, things are about to get interesting. Just trust me. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.